snail family is stressless. You can manage it with any other business that it is you're doing. So once water overshadows them and it's too deep for them to escape, then they will die. They love watermelon so well. They eat it so, so well. Just like um, the way chicken and turkey has their own feed, there is a formulated feed for them. It's not advisable to mix species of snails. You are not to use your hands. The moment you touch the snail with your bare hands, the egg becomes void. It won't hatch. I'll ground, I'll mash, then ground into powder and feed them. And then snails also need calcium in order for their shells not to break. So their hands can kill them to sting them to death. Fine, they don't just die. But the moment they start dying, then you know that you are in for it. They are so heavy. These ones I bought. Because they heat her. I fed them two, oh, two watermelon yesterday. I'm Mrs. Gabriel Blessing by name. They are sweet animal, noiseless, odorless, stressless. They are feeding are flexible. It's not cost consuming. And then they don't just die like um, other livestock. Once it rains, it's very possible for you to see snails around. So you can also unpick them and rear them if you cannot afford buying breeder snails from snail vendors. These breeder snails, the grower, the grower and the baby snails at the pen 3 and pen 4 are handpicked from the compound. I only bought the breeder snails from a snail vendor. It's not advisable to mix species of snails. So, so far, I have only Achantina marginata. I have um, one Achantina fulica. The Achantina Achantina lays more egg than any other um, Achantina. But when I wanted to start, when I asked from different snail vendors, I discovered that the Achantina Achantina is not that common. I don't know why but the Achantina marginata is quite common. Apart from the Achantina Achantina, I think the Achantina marginata is also the best for snail farming because it, um, it's adapt the adaptability to any kind of weather, unlike the Achantina folica. Also, the Achantina marginata, they, they are not as selective as Achantina Achantina. And it's popular in the market. Like that is what people do more that's what people eat more so you also be aware of um, their housing that is their pen where they will stay you have to make it um conducive for them by putting sand not just any kind of sand loamy sand because the loamy soil it's more comfortable the sandy soil is too coarse it can it can um contain water like you know when you put some water in sandy soil to sink meanwhile the loamy soil to adapt to the water not just putting sand you put um dry plantain leaves as well even though it's expected to use dried plantain leaf but if you don't have dry plantain leaf you can make do with the fresh plantain leaf you get the wood the nets the net so that hair can penetrate the wood, the net. And then I also did um, a roof over them because sun should not eat them directly. So in constructing a snail pen, is a carpenter job. You tell them what you want and how you want it. These are leftover remnants from watermelon. This is what they eat, the watermelon remaining too. So even watermelon that you get from Abuki after they've sold it, they can still eat, they can still feed on it if you don't have funds to buy watermelon as watermelon. But definitely the nutrient to be more they feed on the whole watermelon. But from my own experience, I discovered that when you give them food in the morning and you come back in the evening from work, you meet the food the same way it is. But when you give them food in the night, they come out as they are like that inside there. You know when you open it, they are not out. But in the night, all of them will be out, waiting for them to be served. Once the weather is getting dark around 7.30, 7, 7.30, 8, they are all out. The only thing they don't eat is this 
as flat as this. This thing I'm cutting off. I feed them garbage. I feed them vegetables from the market, beet choco, beet tete, but they don't eat that as much as they eat the watermelon. And then I made formulated feed for them as well. Just like um, the way chicken and turkey has their own feed, there is a formulated feed for them. It's a mixture of wheat, oyster shell. So this is um, a mixture of maize, wheat, offers, granite cake, eggshell, dry fish bone. So the source of calcium is eggshell and um, their own. And I said I had two mortalities. This is it. So I'll ground, I'll mash, then ground into powder for them and feed them. Their shell will start breaking if they don't have enough calcium. So they need calcium. The shell is weak. Although I'm picked. But by the time I'm done mi mixing my calcium for them, I'll feed them and they will recover. Once you don't know what to do at the right time, fine, they don't just die. But the moment they start dying, then you know that you are in for it so the challenges of them dying could result from probably their feeding or the environment is not conducive for them i wet them daily now the weather is cool compared to when the weather will, will be hot that will be hot season you make sure you wet them if you have the time you can wet them afternoon when the weather is very hot because they don't like hot environments, they like an humid environment, cool precisely, not cold at the same time, but cool. Once I'm spraying them water, they all come out, they explore, or they come out of their shell, like they want the water to touch them, most especially when the weather is very hot. Snails can drown if the water is too much for them to escape, they only have um, lungs. So they can't, they can't breathe inside water. So once water overshadows them and it's too deep for them to escape, then they will die. They poo a lot. They poo a lot. It's not right for poo to be with them. I pick as much as I can. Keep going. Be devoted to it. Never stop learning. So far, so good. I learn. I I google every day. I ask questions every day about snail farming so keep going never stop learning be determined know what you want this is what i want and then you go for it